Exactement. Hey you! Welcome to a new episode of Terrancraft and welcome to the industrial area. Welcome to a new industry area. I changed a lot. I changed the floor. I changed the size. I, ch I, I did a lot of stuff. I had a stream yesterday. So that's Wednesday for me. And we did a lot of stuff in that stream. We did all of this. So I'm jumping right into the progress we made. Because we did a lot and we still need to do a lot. So this is going to be a mega episode with some mega, mega updating of this area. Because, well, we need to do a lot. We need to do a lot. So what I did is actually changing everything to stone. I think I... You can you can see everything is spammed with torches, like torches everywhere. It's torches galore. I changed everything to stone. So everything was there was a lot of grass and dirt here and all other kinds of different types of stone. I changed it all. I changed it all into this. Now of course you already saw that I changed this part up here because the whole island is gone the, the, the before and after this is the after i think it looks very natural if you look at it right now hey nova is there hello there nova we did a little bit of sight um the this the, the 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 side parts here are still dirt and normal stone it's all gonna be stone bricks and we made a little ditch now the plan is with the ditch ow uh, the plan is with a ditch to fill it with water. I already did a little bit uh, here. And uh, the problem is you need like <laughs> one bucket per stairs to fill. It doesn't flow. So that's going to be a task uh, to do off camera because that's going to be boring. It's going to be one bucket per thing. So it's, you can imagine it's a lot of buckets. But if you check out all the way up here and we look down. Look at that. Look at that. It looks so cool with the ditch around it. And I did the whole island, the whole industrial area is the same. So my plan is to do this as a side. I think it's better if I show you from this angle. Like this is what I want. This is what I want. I want some stairs. I want a little bit of rickety going on on the sides. And I want a diff different depths with the stairs. Some too high, some three high. 
And this is what I want to do all the way around because you can see that is uh, ugly. We are going to change everything into stone bricks. And with that, I'll just give you an update when I did all the sides. And of course, eventually I'll come back and we will do all the water because the plus of this all is that my farms will be uh, AFK farming like always. So this is going to fill up. And I already have like almost two double chests worth of paper. That's a lot of paper. I don't know why I need that much paper. Oh, I got it. And of course, our gunpowder farm will be doing its thing. It's not as fast, but I kind of knew that. It's just one plus so. So yeah, it's okay. It will give me more than enough fireworks. And of course, our iron farm, which is still pumping out enough. There he goes. Bye bye, Gollum. It is pumping enough iron. I mean, look at this. This is just... <laughs> it's wonderful. We get tons and tons of iron. Which we are going to need for this building. I'm still working on the design for the iron farm building. But when it's done... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're going to like it. You're going to like it. It's going to be... I think probably... I think it's going to be higher than this building. So it's, it's going to be a proper building. Uh, I, I can't show you what it is yet. But when I'm done designing that building. Oh, we're going to need a lot of resources. And I kind of already working on some resources that we're going to need. That's going to be with blackstone and warped blocks. Um, But yeah, this is, this is not enough for the whole building. So, but that is another episode definitely another episode so with my inventory full with stone bricks i think we're gonna go and do the sides i'm first gonna do the stone bricks and then eventually put on the stairs on top of it but it's gonna be a lot of work and i think i'll just see you when i'm done all right and i'm done and this is the stacks that i have left it's two and a half not even two and a half stacks stone bricks and we did all the sides all around the base and we just did like two three two three high and filled in the gaps now this is just the start now we have to put in all of the stairs in and these are all the bricks that i laid down tons and tons of bricks and now we have to put on the stairs to make it look nice and fill in the water oh fill in the water Oh man, it's gonna be work. All right, that was all of the stairs. And like you can see behind me, I placed all the stairs on the stone bricks. And I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. It is the look that I'm going for. It's not all the same. Uh, they kind of all um, have a different height. I, I took the heights of one, two, and three from the bottom. So I think with this we have a great start and now we only have to do yeah this looks good and especially this corner behind me right now because this was self-made this this whole corner was not there because there well you guys saw it there was a whole island here so i think with this we are off to a great start and now we can fill in these trenches if you like to say it and we have to fill them with water so uh let me go oh okay um hello <laughs> let me get myself some buckets i think i have yeah three is not enough definitely not enough let me get a few more buckets and let's get fill in Oh my god, that was tedious work. <laughs> that was incredible, incredible boring work. I figured out though that if you place in buckets uh, like so, so let's... Okay, well, um, if you place in water here in this block, skip one and then place water here, it will connect. So that saved me a lot of time and I came up with that like halfway. Ah, <sighs> super. But everything is connected now. Everything is filled with water. So we can see that 
everything has water and on the ends i made them go out so it's like a little waterfall i have one over there i have one over here and i have one here in the front over there of course i need to make them pretty now it's just for me to know where they are so i got three points of where the water will exit but with this i think uh, we i think we have a winner i think we have a winner this looks very very well made and uh, if i say so myself <laughs> i think i need a break from all of this building so let me just put away everything that i don't need fix my gear again and see we need that not that we don't need this all right and with this let's check out if we made any progress in the shop because we haven't been there for quite some time ow and i think it's time for us to go to the shopping district there we are the portal for the shopping district and the nether hub is making a lot of progress so that is looking good oh we have we have someone here who's here emo is here emo is probably restocking his shop and he has two shops he has this shop with all the books and he has this shop and this is the elytra shop i have to say the elytra kit shop I still have my stone shop. I updated it a little bit. I... Hello? Why are there nether rods here? Who placed in the nether rods? What light level is it here? Light level 9. Why do I need end rods? I, I, I said nether rods, didn't I? I mean end rods. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I updated it a little bit and I scooch everything over to one side. And now I have three left, which I can fill in. Um, stone, no, no, smooth, no terracotta, no, no andesite, nope, dirt. I sold dirt, <laughs> so they w don't want any of the stones. But someone was like, "Hmm, dirt. Let's get some dirt." Okay, cool. Well, thank you for the six diamonds. That is a uh, good doing business with you and now we have to go back to my base go to my storage room and get some dirt i have to announce something guys an hour ago g-man joined us and he was in the original 15 of the terrancraft server now he finally joined he had some things to arrange with his pc but he's finally here and he settled in with us as a terrancrafter so finally, G-Man, thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you for being here. And welcome, a warm, warm welcome. All right, let's get the dirt. Dirt. Mm, do we need more? Nah, I think it's okay. Dirt. All right, here we are. And now we just have to refill uh, this bad boy. Let's see. Let's get all the dirt. Refill the dirt. Done. Let's see what Emo has stocked his shop in. Because uh, Emo has like two shops and Ryder still has that shop down there. And I think we are the only one. I heard Nova talking about starting a shop, but... Uh, what do we have? Ooh, okay. This is a random books, one diamond. Everything and everything and everything. We don't need... Uh, efficiency. We could use an efficiency four. To get my hoe up, but eh, eh, what do we have here? We have efficiency five books for four diamonds. Um, uh, silk touch, looting, it's all four diamonds. Fortune three, four diamonds. Oh, I, I kind of already have everything that I need. And unbreaking, oh, that's good. Unbreaking, also four diamonds. Oh, okay, five diamonds for mending. I mean, it's kind of ex expensive. Um, I know it's worth it. It's totally worth it. But most people don't have all the diamonds. If you are, if you want all the enchantments, you'll probably, I don't know, need a stack of diamonds. Not not everybody has a stack of diamonds. So we're just gonna hook up back. Okay, and with everything in place in here, with the stone bricks with the water, and of course the normal stone plateau that we have here. 
um, we need to detail all of it because I don't want all the torches spamming around in this base because this just looks ridiculous. We get a we gotta have some texture on the ground, so we gotta in with some inside some gravel, some cobblestone. We gotta we gotta we gotta make it nice. And of course, we have the design behind me that needs to be developed because I have like half a building design right now. I still need to do a lot for my iron farm. And I think that will be it for today. It was a very big build. I spent hours and hours just to fixing everything up here with the ground, uh, turning it into stone. The, the side paths, ways, the, the trenches, everything. It took me hours and hours. I think it's uh, it was a five hour work. So I'm tired. <laughs> We're done, but we did it. Next time we will probably be in here with everything detailed. I, I think I'll do that off camera. I'll just do that in between episodes. So next time we will be probably, probably be designing my iron farm. I don't know yet, but thank you so much for watching this episode and as always, stay awesome. Thank you and bye-bye.